Hello, my name is Martin van Staden. I am a legal researcher at the Free Market Foundation, uh, and I would like to talk about the Subdivision of Agricultural Land Act in the context of South Africa's uh, current policy of expropriation of health compensation. So in March of 2018, uh, Gwede Mantache, who is the mineral, Minister of Minerals in South Africa, uh, talked about the fact that he owns a 500 hectare farm, but he complained about the fact that his smallest neighbor, uh, another farmer, his, uh, the, the, the smallest one was 4,000 hectares. Uh, and, and in so doing, Mantashe complained about the phenomenon of mega farming, which I took him to mean uh, means that uh, larger and larger tracts of land are ending up in the hands of fewer and fewer farmers. And this contradicts with uh, Section 25.5 of the Constitution, which says that government needs to uh, facilitate equitable, equitable access to land for all South Africans. Uh, now, it's unfortunate that uh, Minister Mantashe has thrown his weight behind the idea of expropriation without compensation when government uh, is enforcing a law that, uh, that stands in the way of it realizing its constitutional objective, and that is the Subdivision of Agricultural Land Act. So government can do away with this act without violating property rights of anyone and, in fact, strengthening property rights. So the Subdivision of Agricultural Land Act, or the Subdivision Act, was passed in 1970 at the height of apartheid. And essentially, the act prohibits farmers from subdividing their land into smaller plots and uh, selling or leasing those smaller plots to, uh, for example, uh, other far small scale farmers or even to a different development like residential and so forth. And the uh, reason for this act, uh, at least according to the government of the time, which uh, you can take with a pinch of salt, was to protect the viability of, of agricultural land, apparently. But uh, the essence of this act is that it uh, really attacks ownership and basically uh, says to owners of agricultural land that you cannot do with your own property as you wish. You need to listen to bureaucrats in Pretoria with fancy degrees who are telling you how to use your property. And uh, what has happened is that the, Agri the Subdivision Act has stood in the way of uh, private sector land reform. And uh, government does enjoy blaming the private sector for not transforming quickly enough. But this act tells farmers you cannot give or sell uh, plots of your farm to your farm workers, your, uh, your farm tenants, and to the local community so as to uh, engage in private sector land reform. So, but government in 1998, the first post-apartheid democratic government, intended to repeal the act, uh, which was quite hopeful after many years of property repression, uh, by uh, enacting the Subdivision of Agricultural Land Repeal Act. Uh, unfortunately, the act has not been brought into operation. Uh, the, minister, uh, the president needs to declare a date for it to become operative. That has not happened in the 20 years since that act has been in effect. Uh, and since 2013, government has intended to replace the Subdivision Act with an even worse act, the Preservation uh, and Development of Agricultural Land Bill, which is more onerous than the Subdivision Act and will lead to probably even worse uh, uh, patterns of land ownership with even fewer farmers having even more land and at worst government owning all the land. Uh, so at this stage, uh, recent administrations have seemingly misunderstood the intention of government in 1998, which was to repeal the act and replace it with market forces. If one looks at the minutes of parliament and of the Department of Land Affairs at the time, uh, they said that the market is the best, base, the best place to determine how land and property should be divided. And that is, it was in, in that context that they uh, committed to repeal the act. Uh, unfortunately, that mentality seems to have gone away over the years, and now they wish to replace the act with a far, far worse law. So here we have a solution. Government does not need to pursue expropriation without compensation to ensure equitable access to land. It can simply repeal the Subdivision of Agricultural Land Act without replacing it with anything uh, and simply having the market do its work. And uh, there you have it. Uh, farm workers especially will, are likely the, the, those who will benefit most from this. Uh, and local communities, of course. Uh, so I thank you for your time and I encourage you to uh, tell President Ramaphosa or whoever is president next to sign this bill into uh, NF, the, the Subdivision uh, Act, uh, Repeal Act into operation so as to get rid of this uh, draconian apartheid land law. Thank you. Thank <laughs> you.